Tonight, teams Elizabeth Noreka live in Brookline. Elizabeth, uh, I can imagine uh, some people are pretty worried seeing uh, seeing that there's a man out there doing this. Yeah, that's right, Nick. People living in this area tell us they are upset and they're scared and they just hope this guy gets caught before he strikes again. Rattled nerves and a shaken sense of security. That's horrifying. It's definitely concerning. That's how many women in one part of Brookline are feeling after police put out a word of warning. Be on the lookout for a man who they say has been exposing himself to women on the street. I mean, it certainly makes me uncomfortable. It's a small relief that he hasn't attacked any of these people, but there's no guarantee that just flashing them is where it stops. There have been six reported incidents since January 5th, the most recent happening on Easter Sunday. Police say the incidents usually happen between 4 and 9 p.m. in the areas of Babcock, Pleasant, Freeman and James Streets. Boston University also stepping up, sending out an email to students to be on high alert. They basically just sent us an email and said that somebody had been approaching young women. They just said he was in his 20s and that people walking around Babcock and a few other streets should just be aware. And women are taking these warnings seriously, being aware of their surroundings and trying their best not to be alone. You don't really know what's out there. So I'd always walk with friends. And having a plan in place should they run into trouble. And I think I'd definitely get inside as quickly as I could and just, you know, make sure to remember what he looked like and contact police as soon as I could. And tonight, police are still looking for that suspect. They have even upped patrols in this area to help people feel safe and to try to find this suspect. We're live in Brookline. Elizabeth Nareka, 7 News 19.